Vandals hit one community's football field and leave behind a big mess. This happened just as football practice is about to get underway. And tonight, a lot of parents and police want to know who did it. As News 8's Aaron Logan tells us, the damage is so bad that it could take a while before the field is ready for play. Do you ever see a grown man cry? This mess just about did. Pretty severe damage, especially out there. I mean, it's deep. Um, probably sideline to sideline, 35 to 35. It was yesterday that Sean Rowley completed all the finishing touches to this football field as Ansonia Youth Football is scheduled to start next week, followed by high school football. Then he woke up to this disaster caused by vandals. Approximately $15,000 worth of damage. The president of Ansonia Youth Football in Cheer, furious. Oh, it's disgusting. I'm, I'm beyond annoyed. It's, you try to have something for the youth of the city to enjoy. We're very lucky in this city that we're able to use city-owned property for the kids. John Krasnowski has two daughters who cheer. Do your daughters know about this yet? Not yet, and I'm not looking forward to informing them. And this whole thing is going to hit the whole community. Whoever made this mess entered through this gate, up the hill, to the right, and onto the field. Rowley says they knew exactly what they were doing. They took a good chance because if somebody would have got caught, there's no way, you know, if somebody came up there, there's no way out other than the way they came in. Rowley says at least the kids will be able to start practice. They practice over on that field, the practice facilities. But if this field isn't ready for home games, money is lost. That means our concession stand is not open, which helps fund the program. And if you had a problem with anyone in the city or the town, do not take it out on the youth. Rowley says the town is already making arrangements to get started and hoping Mother Nature cooperates. I think we'll be able to play by mid-September, October the latest. In Ansonia, Aaron Logan, News 8.